So let us start with a new topic called as frequency polygon. Now, if you recall, we had discussed earlier that graphical representation of statistical data can be done in three ways. That is bar graphs, histogram, and frequency polygon. So now that we're done with the bar graphs and histogram, here we are in the frequency polygon. Okay, now in the previous sections, we've learned how to represent graphically a frequency distribution using histogram. Frequency polygon is nothing but is another method of representing frequency distributions graphically and frequency polygon of a given distribution can be drawn in two ways. One is by using a histogram and another one is without using a histogram. So in this video let us look into how to construct a frequency polygon or the procedure, the steps to construct a frequency polygon by using a histogram. The first step goes like this. Obtain the frequency distribution and draw a histogram representing it. The second step here. Obtain the midpoints of the upper horizontal side of each rectangle. The third point here. Join these midpoints of the adjacent rectangles of the histogram by dotted line segments. The fourth point, obtain the midpoints of two class intervals of zero frequency, that is on x-axis, one adjacent to the first on its left and one adjacent to the last on its right. Now this particular step may appear confusing, but this is nothing but, this is just to start the frequency polygon and also to end it. because you have the first rectangle and the first midpoint. Now, where do you end that line? Where do you end the dotted line? So the answer for that is the fourth step. You just have to take a space just before the first class interval, that is find the midpoint of it and join the first midpoint of the rectangle to this point and the last one similarly to its last class interval or the last midpoint of the class interval next to the last rectangle. So that is how you start the frequency polygon. So the last and the final point, of course it is an extension of my explanation of the fourth point, complete the polygon by joining the midpoints to first and the last class intervals to the midpoints of imagined class intervals adjacent to them. So this completes the steps to construct a frequency polygon by using a histogram. In the forthcoming video, let us illustrate these steps.